Um, mm -hmm. Mike Oni, I did retail clothing. Um, I did Valentino, New York and Company, and H and M. And Valentino is actually known for making the red dress. That's kind of why I put it there. Uh, uh, Valentino's target market. It's they do target men and women, but it mostly leans towards women. Uh, it's 35 to 50 years of age, and they have been attempting to target 20 to 35 year olds. Uh, they've been doing that with mostly party dresses, things like that. Uh, it's people who enjoy luxury. Uh, they don't need it, but it says I have money. And they just want something that represents rarity. Uh, they, they're fashionable. They purchase things for status. They want the, pre they want the prestige of having the Valentino name. Um, they like to think of themselves as trend centers. They want to be the, the people that, they want to make the people that uh, popularize a new trend. And they're affluent. They, they're wealthy, for the most part. Or they, or they just happen to be trust fund babies. <laughs> Geographics, it's Fifth Avenue, not Harlem. Um, what I mean by that <laughs> <laughs> is it's going to be more of an upscale area. Um, I did this as an example of Manhattan. Um, you're not going to find a Valentino store in Harlem. You're going to find it over more towards Fifth Avenue. I know, I know that's technically like seven, but you're going to find it in the areas that have money. Their need states. They're going to be people that want to, they want a symbol of status. The, they want high-end luxury, and maybe they want to emulate a, they're one of their favorite celebrities. Their lifestyles. Um, they might be a corporate bigwig or successful entertainer. Uh, they're most likely going to be drinking wine, fine scotch, something like that. They're going to be health conscious. They might have an exclusive gym membership or a personal trainer. They're going to have nice homes, maybe a, maybe a nice loft, something like that. They're going to be socially active. They're not going to be somebody that sits at home all day. They're going to go to expensive restaurants. And maybe they have a maid or a butler. <laughs> for prices, uh, prices for women, I think the numbers speak for themselves. It's a little ridiculous. But dresses are going to run way too much. <laughs> And I put Scrooge there just because you have to have money bags to do this. Uh, prices for men. I thought that was oddly appropriate, the Monopoly guy. Uh, just for a shirt, you're going to be spending 300 to 450 bucks. Um, tuxedos, you're looking up to, up to 3500 pretty much. Um, marketing mix. You're gonna, they're going to advertise through fashion shows fashion magazines, celebrity endorsements such as uh, Jessica Sarah Parker, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, um, or word of mouth. And for the positioning statement, I said, <laughs> for the posturing individual, Valentino is the fashion statement of the elite that delivers a symbol of status because Valentino is the recipient of the Neiman Marcus Award, which is the fashion Oscar. I, found that out recently. Uh, New York and Company. They're going to be targeting females ages 24 to tw uh, 45. Their annual household income is going to be about $60,000. Um, they like to be trendy, they're value sensitive, and they're looking for that New York style yet great deals. They're career minded. They're either raising a family or they're planning to. Again, they're socially active. They're not going to be the type of person that just lounges around all day. And they live in the USA because this is a national company. It's not sold overseas. Geographics. 
Uh, this is going to be in areas that have a higher upper middle class income uh, population. And you're going to find it in places like New York, uh, Spokane, Washington areas, LA, Chicago. Their need states. Something that's appropriate, fashionable, and affordable. And that New York start, that again, that New York style. And for that, um, I think Henry Louis Medkin says it best. Every great wave of popular passion that rolls on, up on the prairies is dashed to spray when it strikes the hard rocks of Manhattan. Nice. So, <coughs> their lifestyles. They're going to be somebody that drinks wine or mixed drinks. Uh, they're going to be health conscious, and that's, that's shown in their In Motion collection. Um, they're going to be philanthropic, and New York and Company supports a, a variety of of charities, including Breast Cancer Research and St. Jude's Children's Hospital. She's going to be involved in her family's life, although she's not necessarily a soccer mom. And she has a career, and her career is important to her. She's not going to be the type of person that wants to have to rely on somebody to provide for her. Uh, pricing. It's a lot more reasonable than Valentino. Uh, shirts are going to run you about 30 to $40. <coughs> Jackets get up there, but it's expected. Uh, marketing mix. You're going to find it in fashion magazines, women's television, word of mouth, or online sites like Facebook and other affiliates. And they do have an affiliate program, so like the online, you can go on and I, wanna, I want my website to advertise for you. And you have to fill out a little form. Um, but they're going to be advertising in magazines like Vogue or Cosmo, um, off of Facebook, and women's television networks like Women's Television Network and Lifetime. And their positioning statement for the business women, for the businesswoman, New York and Company is the affordable yet upscale fashion store of the U.S. because New York and Company provides fashion that is both functional and affordable. Uh, H&M, they're looking to go after people that are about 18 to 24 years of age. They're fashion conscious, uh, but they don't have money. They're fiscally limited. Uh, it's going to be lower middle income, and they're sociable shoppers. They're probably in school or just starting out with their life. Uh, geographics, it's going to be middle class, lower middle class areas or near large populations of young adults. And there's one over near FIT, which full of girls that want to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Their need states, uh, social shopping experience. They want something that looks good, but is still fiscally responsible. Their lifestyles, uh, they live paycheck to paycheck. Um, they're just starting out or they're still in school. They're more of an opportunistic drinker. Head for the bottom shelf, get what's cheap, go home, get drunk. They're sociable and they want to they want to <laughs> they want to emulate affluence. They want to look wealthy, but at the same time, they can't afford to be wealthy. Uh, pricing. Uh, shirts are going to be 6 to 30 dollars. All the way down to coats that are going to be 30 to 100 for men. Shirts are going to be about 30 to 35. That's for a dress shirt. T-shirts are going to be 10 to 20. And pants 30 to 40. Jackets 50 to uh, 150. And their marketing mix is they might they might put something up against near a bus stop. Like the billboard they have lived down there. Uh, television, online sites like Facebook again. F uh, fashion and teen magazines. And again, word of mouth. And their positioning statement for the gregarious person H&M is the fiscally friendly fashion outlet of choice because H&M makes you look like a million dollars, yet for significantly less. Nice. I like it. I like and questions. <laughs> I expected you to say Batman before. 
And then just a wisdom of Oscar Wilde. Fashion is a form of ugliness so intolerable. We have to alter it every six months. <laughs> Very philosophical. <laughs> Thank you. Nicely done. Thank you.